Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. So in the last video, I said that this course is hands-on and that a key part of learning is a willingness to be confused, get stuck and Google things. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about exactly that. This video isn't about Ed ANN specifically. It's about something far more important. It's about the learning mindset more specifically, how to learn effectively and how to think like an automation builder. Mastering this mindset is the single most important thing you can do to guarantee your success in this course and in your career. So let's cover what we're going to be talking about in this lesson. First thing is go slow to go fast. What to do when you get stuck. How to ask for help a quick word on AI, a quick recap, and then I'm going to be giving you your first assignment. Don't worry, it's not too scary. Okay, what do I mean when I say go slow to go fast? Well, the first thing is when you're learning something new and technical, it's tempting to rush. You want to get to the finish line and start building cool stuff quickly. But this often leads to burnout. It's the worst thing you can do because uh, you're not actually learning the material. Most successful developers and builders have what's called a growth mindset, whereas others might have what's called a fixed mindset. And a fixed mindset says, I'm just not getting this. I'm, I must not be smart enough. A growth mindset instead says, I, go, I don't get this yet, but I can if I keep trying. Struggling with a problem isn't a sign of failure. Struggling is what learning actually feels like. It's your brain building new connections. When your workflow breaks and you spend an hour figuring out why, that hour is more valuable than 10 hours of watching videos where everything works perfectly. So don't get stressed when you can't figure something out. Take your time, go slow now to truly understand the concepts and I promise you, it will allow you to go much faster later. Okay, let's get into some practical tips. What do you do when you get stuck? Well, you've struggled. You have two powerful tools available to you. The first one is what's called a rubber duck debugging technique. First, try getting a rubber duck. I know it sounds silly. And if you don't have one, just try talking to yourself and explain the problem you're having out loud step by step. For example, I'm trying to get data from this Google Sheet. I expect it to be a list of names, but what I'm actually getting is this error. When you articulate things to yourself, you'll be shocked at how often you just end up solving your own problem. For the second tip, just Google it. <laughs> um, seriously, uh, it's a skill for anyone to be able to research and figure out what's going on, uh, the chances are you're not the first person to have encountered this specific problem. So just try Googling it and see if anyone else has had a similar issue. And when you do Google it, don't just be generic with your search. Don't type something like NNN isn't working. Be specific. Something like I'm getting this a particular error, for example, a credentials 403 error. Okay, next how to actually ask for help. So you've tried to solve your problem yourself and you're still stuck. Well, now it's time to ask for help. And on this note, we do have an NNN Learn community on Discord for exactly this purpose, but we'll get into that later on in the lesson. Okay, so in terms of asking for help, the first thing that you need to remember is help others help you. Remember that phrase. If you make it easy for people to help you, you get answers quickly. But if you make it hard, you get silence. <laughs> okay, so how do I actually ask a good question? Well, the first thing is your question has to be detailed. Don't make it sparse. Don't ask just to ask. Be detailed in your question. And what should actually go into that question that you're asking? Well, explain your goal. What are you actually trying to achieve? For example, I want to send a personalized email to every new lead in my spreadsheet. 
That's a very specific goal that you've, you've, that you've asked. Thirdly, describe what is actually happening. So for example, instead of sending the email, I'm getting a credentials not valid error in the Gmail node. Include the exact error message. And fourthly, show what you've already tried. When you do this, people that you know are looking to help you can see what's not worked and it'll be more efficient in trying to figure out what needs to be done to get it to work. And fourthly, provide your workflow. Again, we'll get into this much later on in the course, but NADN allows you to share your workflow um, in JSON format, and it's very easy and very simple. And when you do share your workflow, people can get into it and see what see exactly what's going on. Okay, a quick word on AI. Now, everyone knows AI is extremely helpful, and but the question is, well, can't I just ask AI to build my workflow for me? And you can definitely do that, but you're not learning anything that way. As a beginner, relying on tools like ChatGPT is a trap because think of it like a math test. You could ask ChatGPT to give you the answer to a particular math problem, but you haven't actually learned the math yourself. So you haven't learned anything. When you ask AI for the solution, it gives you one. But the downside is you miss the chance to develop your own research and problem solving skills, which is the very skill you need to become a good builder. So for the purposes of our course, I strongly encourage you to not use AI to solve the projects. You can use them for research, but for the actual building and the actual project uh, creation, you should figure it out for yourself because that's what you will learn. Okay, quick recap. So like I've mentioned in this lesson, go slow to go fast, research first and ask smart questions. Now it's time for your first assignment and it's very simple. Click the link in the description to join our Discord community. You don't have to ask a question, just join and say hello and in the introductions channel and take a look at how other people are communicating just get comfortable being in a community of builders uh, in our, and in our group. But apart from that, thanks for watching. And in the next video, we'll do a deep dive into NADN and the NADN interface. But until then, I'll see you there.